Hello, everyone. Welcome to Astro Life on Instagram. I'm your host, Rod Chang. Well, um, once a week, I will invite my friend to join me to chat about the recent um, astrology uh, pattern and also what's going on at this moment. And today, well, I'm going to invite uh, Lian to, to going to join us. Wow, Lian now is more and more familiar. Lian just sent me the request. <laughs> How do you feel at this moment? Because I think at this moment we have the Venus is retrograde and uh, Mercury is stationary and we also have a Mars opposite Neptune. Hi, Hello, Leanne. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. And you? Good, fine. I'm the right way up. <laughs> yeah, I can hear that. I can feel boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, how's uh, how's the weather there? I think you also have a good weather there. <laughs> it's a little bit better. It's been quite uh, nice today. Um, mm -hmm. And although it's been quite sunny and warm the past few days, it's been yeah. so windy, oh, so okay. windy. Um, and, you know, quite stormy, very oh, okay. unsettled and stormy. Uh, oh, not great. Okay. Well, all right then. <laughs> But at least the weather is warm, you know, a lot of people are worried about their, you know, heat wave. I can't believe it. I still hear about the word heat wave. It sounds like in South France yeah. and uh, also in, in Athens. Yeah. I think really, why the fire going through Athens? I really, wow. I just like uh, this year and the, you know, the climate change is really hit everyone and the people, but yeah. some people still keep denying it. I know, <laughs> I know. The weather is not normal anywhere. And, no. um, and whether it's due purely because of our fault, you know, or yeah. it's part of natural as well, because, you know, some climate change is natural. Yeah. It's probably both, yeah. but we can't yeah. deny it. We can't mm. deny it, no. I agree because compare with maybe just say 50 years ago, yeah. the world is totally different. I think we we did a lot of a change and the, the nature has no time to react. So, you know, just like a loss of balance, just like you suddenly ate too many things or, or even you, you suddenly drink too much water or you suddenly stop drinking and eating, it will cause the imbalance in your body. Now yeah. our mother earth is reacting. Yeah. Is part of a process, and that we have a job. I think we have our responsibility, to be honest, to you know bring the balance back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, yes. definitely. And it is very interesting because when we chat about, say, what should we talk about today, and we just say, you know, um, we know people keep talking about the retrograde because I think maybe through maybe two weeks ago, I already have a monkey retrograde and Venus <laughs> ret retrograde discover, uh, covered. But I think it's worth to talk because every day we feel different, especially I feel like uh, like my post today. Um, yeah, we are in that kind of a uh, one is going to uh, the Venus still retrograde and the, but the sun it was stationary and uh, mercury is a stationary mm -hmm. at, at this moment and then you tell me that uh, um like uh, so many people told you about the venus retrograde are not easy this time no could you share with us yeah 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 so i um i remember a few weeks ago i'm doing a, a video for on the venus retrograde mm -hmm. and at the time we we had pluto making that t-square with the nodes and then the yeah. sun came along and um formed a grand cross and venus was in shadow then yes um, and so that wasn't a, an easy time anyway with that grand cross and pluto on the nodes but then um, we, we've got really into that, that Venus retrograde and I'm speaking to so many people, friends, clients, mm -hmm. and myself as well. And it just hasn't been an easy summer. I think mm -hmm. um, I've been speaking to a lot of people who've been sort of really disappointed with mm -hmm. Um, this summer, there's, there's people gone on holiday and had rubbish holidays oh. and come back and said, never again. Oh, oh no. They've, they've just had lots of disappointments. People have had lots of um, goodbyes in relationships, lots of goodbyes, and some of them have been quite sudden. Um, and, you know, we have got um, 
you know, those Venus Uranus squares, I think, which is contributing oh, yeah. to that very much so. Um, so we had one on the 2nd of July, another one on yeah. the 9th of August, and then there'll be a third and final one, 29th of September. Mm -hmm. And they're at 21, 22 um, Leo. Yeah. Um, and of course, um, Uranus is in Taurus. So these are fixed squares and it's, not so easy to say goodbye and let go when it's yeah. fixed where is it um but there's this also almost been a sense as well when one door closes another opens because yeah. it's uranus yeah. and it's wanting us to progress it's it's saying look you know that's probably not working anymore it's holding you back and um, you've got to close that door and move through this door if you want to progress and and move on but that's not necessarily as easy as it sounds is it <laughs> it is i think especially this uh, you mentioned about this square and i think it was uh was uh, because the venus passed forward and backward through the uranus during this uh, um uh, during this uh, virtual great motion and that was like the, the things make make uh, not mercury sorry make minus like uh, hey wait a moment i need some something have to done before i finish this one yeah. and it's like an unfinished business i keep coming and going and it's just like uh, you know what i have to go back and sort things out and i don't want to do this and that was just like uh, why are you keep coming back <laughs> yeah and this will keep knocking on that door until you open it and actually listen you know and because often we don't want to listen to things that are difficult we, we sure. prefer to ignore them and uranus won't accept that uranus will <laughs> awaken us you know yeah. and if it has yeah. to strike us with lightning to wake us up it, it will i think yeah but it's not it's, it's not just been about relationships it's mm -hmm. it's been about money as well because venus is always associated with money mm -hmm. and i think people um they're not enjoying what they used to enjoy as much mm -hmm. because leo you know venus is in leo and yes. it's about enjoyment and having fun mm -hmm. and being noticed and getting attention and you know mm -hmm. just, just getting out there and you know letting our inner child out of course yeah and, and you know i think this uh, people aren't feeling as much enjoyment as they thought they might and they're like why am i not finding pleasure in that anymore yeah um you so why am I not finding this relationship or friendship enjoyable anymore? Why is this hobby not enjoyable? You know, or um, I used to enjoy going on holiday somewhere yeah. and this time I just, you know, don't get it anymore. And it's just not so much fun. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's been a lot of that. I think people's expectations um, have perhaps not um, been fulfilled this, this summer. Um, and of course, we can't keep doing the same thing throughout life, can we? Mm. we can't. But the dilemma is that um, this Venus square Uranus is in one way because, like, it's in fixed square. So it's like we want to go back to like uh, the things we usually do to enjoy, to like uh, go to the same place for holiday or eat yeah. similar food. But it is, it is. He says no, you couldn't do that. You couldn't repeat the old pattern. But the new thing is not easy either because no. it feel awkward. You feel awkward to, to go to a new place, or you feel like oh, I'm not used to this food or something. You you try to enjoy the new diet or something make you comfortable. So you still feel like, is this right? So it's like in that transition, you know, we are in that transition, and that is not it's easy at all no it's so hard but i think there's some bigger background energies um behind this as well because of course the nodes are now in libra and aries it's, it's the south node in libra which is ruled by venus venus is shouting at us again and the south node isn't progressive the south yeah. node holds us back where we're comfortable doesn't yeah. it yeah and so all those areas of Venus where we feel really comfortable, we're being urged to move away from them into new territory. And it is scary. And then, of course, we've got Pluto back in Capricorn, highlighting that um, 
that Capricorn Cancer um, mm. axes. And again, that's back to sort of more familiar territory. And Cancer Capricorn kind of likes to hold on to what it's comfortable with as well. It can mm. do, definitely, especially the Cancer, you know. Yeah. Um, so I, I think um, we're in a state of flux at the minute with Pluto sort of back, it, you know, into uh, Capricorn. Um, you know, once that goes back into Aquarius, you know, um, I think it might be a little bit easier to move forward. But that might bring its own that that might bring its own challenges, definitely. Oh, there's another 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 page, another another yeah. page, I know, another story because the Pluto in Aquarius challenge is you know something else but uh, yeah i think the pluto in capricorn challenge we probably know and we're probably familiar with but it's just 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 is up on us we want to deal it or not because uh, we used to it yeah. like uh, uh, at yeah, this we moment we have the pluto try uranus and also make a try with the uh mars yeah so there they, this try this earth green try is somehow bring us a you know what? It's quite comfortable, yeah. like a good old day. Yeah. Uh, do I really want to change this? I know the the some time is different. Everyone using TikTok, and uh, and no one what no one using the Facebook. Am I going to switch it off? Or or like uh, and now every food you see is like organic, vegan, and this and yeah. that. Or I yeah. know the ocean need, ocean need the help. Uh, maybe I should reduce to eat seafood. Why? Why should I do that? Yeah. Uh, yeah yeah absolutely there's a lot of earth energy around at the minute especially mm -hmm. you know the sun's moved into virgo today mercury's mm -hmm. starting its um retrograde there's a lot of earth and it's all about very practical material things mm -hmm. so you know our money what we eat what we surround ourselves on a very earthy earthy um existence um yeah and it's it's about it's about reality as well and sometimes the reality we're living in now although it might not be comfortable at least we we're familiar with it like you were saying and you know we sort of um sort of we're managing our way through it whereas the thought of moving into something completely new it, it's it, it is a bit worrying, I think, for some people. It can it can make you feel quite anxious, and especially now we've got all that Virgo energy going on. Mercury in Virgo can, you know, overthink, get really analytical, and it, it can and um, create a lot of anxiety. It, it really can. Yeah, I think you totally spot on because um, for even you know for last couple of weeks I was a uh, resting. But, uh, you know, as a Mercury in Virgo, oh my God, I have a lot of plan, you know, that even mm -hmm. I say I'm resting, but you still notice I'm doing a lot of a post yeah. or, or yeah. things because I feel that urge to, to express. If not, I feel that because I just noticed for last couple weeks-ish, we don't have any planet in air sign apart from moon went to the air sign from time to time. But oh, most of the time, there is no planet in air and that in the astrology is one thing is lack of air but very interesting usually when you when we experience the, the chart lack of air we are looking for it yeah <laughs> yeah we're, we're looking for it and we're looking for things to fill our mind with mm. and mercury in um virgo has so many 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 things going on um in the mind so we can really be getting caught up in the details and we can end up over analyzing and overthinking mm. and that's when we start worrying you know it's great for sort of cleaning your house or editing a book <laughs> or you know cleaning the office I, I was laughing this morning because um my neighbors on both sides of uh -huh. where i live they're both out with their hoses and their power washers and they're weeding their gardens, okay? And I looked and I thought, oh, that's it. Sun's gone into Virgo, Mercury stationary in Virgo. Everyone's going to be tidying. I, I, I think I have to, I have to confess, even for me, I just grab the duster to dust up and I even not thinking <laughs> it's a Virgo season. To be honest, I didn't. I didn't do it because I noticed Virgo season. I just unconsciously said, no, we need that stuff. Ba, 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 start doing it, start doing it. And then you just like, when you look at your, oh, okay, yes, it's Virgo season. Yeah, 
that is a little bit crazy, but it is astrology. That's why, you know, astrology makes us feel so, you know, fascinating about yeah. it. Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. It's, 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 and it's so real. It's, and you can just watch it going on <laughs> around you. It is Indeed. funny. But, but more seriously, um, you know, uh, Mercury in Virgo, it's a perfect time to sort of audit anything in your life that needs an audit and a clear out and a declutter. Mm. And because we've still got Venus as such a mm. big theme at the minute, this is where we can audit um, where our relationships are making us unhappy or uncomfortable or stuck. Mm. You know, so um, I think as well as just thinking of all those sort of Virgo things, mm -hmm. you know, it could include our health as well, but the, the health of your relationships and friendships, that's so important. Yeah. Let's sort of talk about them. And of course, Mercury's about talking. Yeah. So this is perhaps a really sort of good time to sit down um, and, and try and talk through anything that is... Um, sort of making you unhappy and comfortable or you know all those things that I, I mentioned about Venus being unhappy you know unhappy yeah um if, if possible and we're in a, a a massively reflective time aren't we you yeah. know Mercury and Venus both retrograde at the same time yeah it's incredibly reflective and I always say try and make use of retrograde periods mm -hmm. And, you know, um, sort of let's get all of those cobwebs out, mm. maybe so that perhaps that we've been hiding from ourselves or mm. hiding from other people. Let's try and get them out. Let's be practical. Virgo is yeah. very practical. You know, in fact, Mercury, all the retrogrades are in Earth signs this year. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. all about a practical and material um sort of concerns now's the time just to lay them on the table pick through them mm -hmm. it's easy, easier said than done of course um <laughs> <laughs> you know if we, yeah. we sometimes don't want to face what's dirty in our life or right. that needs tidying up in our life you know or just shove it in a drawer <laughs> and tidy it up another time but this is literally what it's like look through the drawers in your life and in your mind and in your, in your heart as well because venus and leo is about you know um what's not fulfilling your heart and mm -hmm. you know what you're not being true to regarding you know what you need um to to fulfill your heart and all those desires and all those creative impulses and just what makes you enjoy life and feel alive you know all those mm -hmm. leo themes um and I always, you know, we've got Jupiter and Taurus, which I think is very fertile ground. Yeah. And I just imagine a garden, okay? And we've got mm -hmm. a garden full of beautiful flowers, you know, lovely and um, sort of bright Leo, Venus, sort of gorgeous flowers. But if there's lots and lots of weeds, they'll choke mm -hmm. the flowers and you won't see the beauty that's there because yeah. the weeds are distracting you. So this is time to get the weed killer out in your life, okay? That is so <laughs> it is. Get the weed killer out, and you know perhaps everything's not as bad as you think, but you just can't see it because there's just some weeds and tidying up that needs to be dealt with. I really like the, the, the things you describe because I get an image how to sort out the things I'm worried about. So it's not things that are ugly, but it's just we couldn't see it because I think also last uh, last Friday I chatted with uh, our friend Margaret. Uh, she talking about the retrograde is part of a you know perspective because we know the planet is not really retrograde, but it's from the Earth's view. We yeah. see it is is rich way. So it's a perspective like you just described. It's, things are not ugly, but you couldn't see it. So yeah. maybe we need to sort out type like a like a Mercury in Virgo. We need to tidy it up. Yeah. We need to sort out things and then maybe we can enjoy that beauty from the uh, Venus in Leo. Um, that would be so absolutely. interesting. Absolutely. And you know, things things usually aren't quite as bad as we think mm, you know true, and yeah. i just don't think we can see um where we're blessed or where there is beauty in our lives at the minute because we're possibly a bit sort of stuck um and we, we that's what uranus wants us to do it wants us to look at things with fresh eyes 
doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah? And mm -hmm. we can't do that if there's weeds and dirt and mess everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But I think there's another thing I want to mention. Maybe it's not exact, but, uh, but uh, you know, at this moment, we have that Mars opposite Neptune. Yeah. I was, because I want to share that because when you're talking about that, we are not happy with the situation. Sometimes, my personally, because I, I I have a very, very bad temper, and usually I get, I get upset very easily. And you know what happened? When I get upset, I like victimized. Why me? Why everyone against me? Why things are not always as I want? And then, you know what? I been working so hard, I feel I have right to pouting. I feel right to get upset. Let me find something else to upset myself even yeah. more. That yeah. is a mass left during this moment. So be very careful if you are if you are stuck in something like a like a Venus and the Mercury is stuck in there and you get upset. Don't let Mars opposite left him feel it up. He, even more making you like no you know everything against me is really the trauma isn't it it, it did mars neptune as well it can make you want to just give up oh there's no <laughs> yeah. point to this i'm just going to give up you know yeah. um it's not worth it nothing ever works for me and yeah yes. all those 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 victim words then it can be really negative and it is. you know the best thing to do with Mars Neptune is do some sort of artistic or Neptunian mm. or spiritual activity, you know, painting or mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. just use the energy rather than um, sort of um, just thinking, thinking, thinking. Or you know, this is nothing ever works for me. Yesterday, I you know, I, I put on my Facebook. I went up to Holy Island yeah. and I had a little a sort of spiritual day out, and we, I did the pilgrimage over yeah. to Holy Island. Oh wow! And it was such a a good use of Mars Neptune, and it sort of really inspired me, and it took me out of my head as well, because I think with this Mercury retrograde, we can get very much into our heads, yeah. which isn't a help healthy place to be all the time definitely mm. well, yeah thank you for your suggestion i will really think about something related to 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 neptune to do because i i really really didn't think about that yes that would be like a, a way to you know to 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 apply our 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 mars neptune opposition i just have a question from our audience have you read that one in a solar reading coming up in the period of uh, piling up with a ritual great planet what would you think year of a re-evaluation yeah, I, th I think very much a, a very reflective year, but it could be a year of doing all those things that you'd planned a while ago. Because I often find with retrograde periods, um, things come back to us that we put to one side or that we'd forgot about or... Perhaps you had a friendship and you've lost touch with them and they mm -hmm. can often come back during a retrograde period. So, yeah, it can be a year of doing all those things that you've been planning for a long time and just never got round to doing. Mm -hmm. So mm. it's still a good way to apply the retrograde energy, like it may be like a finding the old project that you, yeah. you, 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 you fail before or you, you didn't do it before. Or, or the things didn't work it out before, and uh, you know, either redo it yeah. as a second chance, or, or you know, maybe, or just like ask yourself, what else I can, you know, redo it again? What else I can give myself a second chance to try it? I think it would be yeah. very, very interesting. Thanks, our friend. Um, I try to pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, M C uh, Astro Tarot. I'm a I mean, it's well, Astro Tarot, yeah. yeah. Herself yeah, I, is also quite good astrologer, I have to say, because you, if you read her post, there's a yeah. lot of beautiful tarot card reading. Yeah. Please follow yeah. up. Please follow up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I've just thought of a really good example of that, mm -hmm. um, that, what we've just been talking about. So India's just landed its um, probe on the south, yeah. you know, south pole of the moon, and it's the third attempt. It's their third attempt at doing this and it's successful. Oh, yes. And it's during a Venus retrograde. And I was just looking at their, the chart there and mm -hmm. I just used the, the India Republic chart and I got the yeah. moon, la moon landing. Yeah. And Venus retrograde is conjunct the natal Pluto and opposite Jupiter and opposite what? natal oh. Venus. So it's the 
third attempt. Mm-hmm. So sometimes we need another uh, another go at things, don't we? And because it's retrograde, we're perhaps a little bit wiser. We're thinking about it a little bit more. We can mm-hmm. we, we can reflect on it. So yeah, second chances. I agree. I agree. And uh, these uh, second chances. Uh, thank you for bringing out the 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 India's uh, moon landing mm-hmm. thing because I know this is a huge work. And I think it make it make a whole country so proud yeah. to be honest yeah. because it is a not a easy task and uh, for a country who has uh, like a so rich cultural background and also the technology is also in their strengths I have to say so is they are they are really doing the all they can to you know to, to, to work on different ways not really rely on one of the superpower. But India is trying to work very hard and you say this is our third, their third attempt. Yeah. Well, I mean, such a huge work. If I doing that, I would just like, you know what, it's a moon landing, you know, I'm going to give up. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. But they didn't give up and it, it actually forms a fixed T-square wow. with Jupiter and Uranus at the minute. Do you know that Jupiter Uranus square? It's got an eight degree orb. We've got yep. Jupiter at 15 Taurus, Uranus yep. at 23. I can feel that building massively mm. already. And that is innovation and exploration and breaking new ground. It really is. I think we we have to admit that Jupiter and Uranus are usually related to this type of adventure, especially yeah. the explore to the space. I think yeah. even for the we find that all those uh, calculation even before we start the moon landing or any any rocket, even the rocket, even for a for that rocket to 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 raise from the Earth and to to get out of a get out of a, the the gravity control that calculation itself i i remember i i, I did a little bit of research what was kind of a related to jupiter and the uranus cycle so this is mountain part and uh, i definitely we ought to have something related to the you know the space uh, yeah. space explore with this uh, jupiter and the uranus and i also um yes i think one of our speaker uh, in the end of this year we have a conference and one of our speaker will talk about uh, uh, jupiter uranus too so that would be so interesting i mean this is uh, so big um yeah lian because even lian is not a good part of the english program for the conference but lian going to be the international the translate uh, she was speaking trans, uh, English but uh, translated to Chinese Mandarin what's your topic yes yeah, so I'm talking about Juno and um, Ceres um, through yes. 2024 and 2025 because they've got a lot of interesting um, things going on so one asteroid one dwarf planet mm. just mm. to add another layer to you know everything else that we've um, got going on um, so yeah, so I've better start working on that. <laughs> you know what? When you say that, you just make me have an idea. I will bring you back for the normal program. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do both. <laughs> yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I will let you have a Chinese talk, and then maybe months after, I will invite you back to the English one. You know, maybe yeah. monthly talk or something. That would be so cool because yeah, I mean. I, I enjoy it. you. You guys have, if you ever has chance to listen to Leon talk about Juno, oh, <laughs> you will love it. I mean, I mean, first time I hear Leon talk about Juno, I'm in love with her talk. <laughs> Fantastic, really, really. It's not. It's not my. You know, it's not just uh, just because you know we are friends. Because that is really blow my mind off when you talk about Juno. So if you ever have a chance to read Leon's article or, or listen to her talk, please get it because you would love that well what so, i've done um yeah. this summer because like i say i've been pulling out lots of projects that i've had on hold for ages yeah. so i now have a juno page on my website dedicated to juno and i'm keep adding and adding so i'm going to build up a resource for everyone to go and look Lovely. so there's already quite a lot on there already so um could could you share your read your website to with us to us <laughs> Yeah, it's just lianmccafferty.com. Simple okay, as that. But, yeah. you know, um, any of my social media pages have the, the link to the website on anyway. So it should be easy to find. Yeah, <laughs> definitely.
definitely, definitely, because uh, I mean, Leon's uh, Leon's research on the uh, asteroid and drop one that is amazing. I really encourage everyone go to go to read that. So, Leon, before we finish today's uh, today's uh, program, do you have any tips or any anything to sh any 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 way to handle this transit with our audience? Um, the retrograde transits. Yeah. Um, I think go a day at a time mm -hmm. because I think we've come through some really powerful shifts this summer with that nodal ingress, mm -hmm. that grand cross. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're still going through huge evolutionary change with Pluto. You know, that certainly hasn't finished, um, you know, working that Cancer Capricorn axis. Go a day at a time mm -hmm. and there's no rush. There's no mm. rush. Take your time to read your life, okay. to declutter your life and look really carefully for anything that you've missed or that you've just pushed away into a corner or that you've shoved away in a drawer that you don't really want to tackle. Mm -hmm. Mercury and Virgo is perfect for it will you will feel much happier, much lighter and much healthier if you deal with those issues but it can seem scary and it can seem daunting baby steps mm. little little steps which again is a very virgo thing yeah you, you don't have to clear everything out all in one go uh -huh. just deal with a little bit at a time and then it's not so overwhelming if that makes sense yeah, I think it, for me it totally makes sense. <laughs> when you when you start talking about oh that's about my diet. <laughs> exactly. You know, you, you can't just suddenly oh hello Rod. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, here. Hi. I'm here. Hi, hi, hi. Um yeah, it's it's impossible to completely change every aspect of your diet or yeah. exercise routine all in one go. You fail after three days. Yeah, you do. You stay after three days. We're only human. Little, little baby steps, and those tiny changes build up into and make a huge difference over the long term. And it's just easier, definitely. I agree. I agree. Like, uh, like, uh, just before we finish, this is true. Look, look at our, look at our life. Like, for example, if we, some people, sometimes people want to learn something. They say, "Oh, I want to learn everything at the same time." Or diet, or for do exercise. Oh, I want to, I want to achieve that level. Or for diet, so even more people will reason about that. I want to lose like a uh, two pound in two weeks. <laughs> it was even you success. No. Next week you will put three pound back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's this is about making long term um change for the good and change yeah. that's going to stick there's no point changing for a few weeks and then going back mm -hmm. to your old ways and that's what we were talking about earlier on in this this um this talk yes. you know it's it's got to be talk that change that's manageable mm -hmm. practical mm -hmm. this is the yeah. girl yes. and and that, that works for you and that um you know can just really help in every aspect of your your daily life and if you can audit all of that all the bigger themes in your life will benefit as well you know yeah yeah definitely and also when this venus um in leo while we are changing things also try to enjoy a tiny bit maybe that's not like like as usual as before or as exciting but just enjoy the tiny bit, you know. You you still have to, you still can enjoy the different things when the we start Venus uh, in the retrograde in Leo. You still, I mean, it's not everything is uh, is changing, is suffering or something. But uh, you can still enjoy a tiny bit from that. That would be pretty interesting. I, yeah, I think it's so important at the minute. There's so many pressures in the world for everyone. <laughs> we need to try and find enjoyment where we can. And if mm -hmm. if you stopped enjoying something that you used to enjoy mm -hmm. think right you know maybe some need something different to fulfill fill you know my heart um so this is time to try something new and if it doesn't work it doesn't matter you've tried True. it yeah but you'll, and maybe you'll never we... know unless you try i agree just 
works and you know you try it and then what what's the problem if we fail you know what well, well, we may have a second chance to correct it with all these ritual crazy yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah ab absolutely absolutely and don't be over critical of yourself because Mercury and Virgo can be oh. very overcritical. Try to resist that part of yeah. it and just think, do you know what? I tried, didn't work, or I could only manage a tiny bit today. Um, mm. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. And I th I've got a really important rule that I live by, okay, mm -hmm. which is very important for people who are very, very Virgo or getting obsessed uh -huh. with all the details and the perfectionist sort of trait that can come with that yeah. and it's called the 80 20 rule and if 80 percent of it is great the other 20 percent will take care of itself it doesn't matter it doesn't cool. have to be 100 percent perfect all the time because mm. that's just not sustainable or true. achievable true well, thank you, Leah. Every time chatting with you is fantastic. It's like we find a lot of a different way to to see the chart, and then it is always, uh, you know, you know, a kind of a pleasure to chat with you about astrology. And <laughs> we really share a lot of a common in, you know, interest in the in the mundane astrology also with the, with the whole world changing things. So you know, thank you, Leah, and uh, and uh, we'll see you soon for the, our the next uh, mundane astrology yeah. talk. Then. Yeah. Okay, see you and thanks everyone for listening and uh, watching our program today. And every Wednesday, we will have one astrologer come to join me to discuss about the recent transit. So next week, uh, next Wednesday, we will be here again. See you next time. And thanks everyone joining us. Okay, and thank you, Terry, to share your your, 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 your astrology views. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.